So I'm going to do this a little backwards. Instead of showing you how to configure each one, I'm going to show you the results of using the three font managers for the Atari ST. So first, let's take a look at boot times. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison of how fast each one of them boots. And as you can see, NVDI is the clear winner, followed by Speedo, and then G+. And that's pretty much to be expected, because if you look at the loading screens, uh, I have the latest version of each one installed, with the latest version of NVDI being published in 1999, well after uh, the other programs. So when the GEM desktop shows different things, the draws on the desktop, it uses a series of dots. And we can demonstrate that here in Successory from G+. Uh, it's in normal condition. It's the way the operating system normally draws lines. So to see that in operation, we're going to go open up a window. So let's double click on the C drive up here, and you'll see it open, and you see the lines. Didn't catch that? Well, let's take a look at it a little closer. Now I've stopped it right here to show you the lines. Let's zoom in a little bit, take a look, and you'll see that these lines are really made up of a series of dots uh, being drawn. Now I haven't examined the programming, but I'm imagining that drawing all those in a sequential manner uh, takes time. So what would be easier? Well, drawing them a line at a time. And by the way, if we look at the, when it's exiting, when it's closing the window, you'll see the effect here as well. So if I go back to the G plus accessory, I'm going to change it to a solid line instead and say save. And then I'm going to do it again and uh, we'll open up another window. And you'll see that when it opened up, uh, it drew pretty fast. It was so fast I couldn't even capture it in a single frame. But fortunately, uh, the G plus also comes with a zoom test program that demonstrates the uh, routines. So, you can do it with different repetitions. I chose 5 8, the longest one. And if we click on it now, uh, we'll see the lines being drawn uh, over and over and over again. And eventually, after it's done with those, it'll show you the time it took to uh, do those uh, particular uh, uh, VDI calls. And in this particular configuration, it's 15.51 seconds. Now that we know at least one of the factors that's affecting the speed of GDOS, we're going to compare these three types of font managers to see how well they do against each other. Rather than just showing a boring table, I put the three videos on top of each other so they're not affecting each other's speed, uh, and they're just the results. And if we watch here, we'll see that NVDI finishes first. As a matter of fact, quite fast compared to G+, which was second. And then coming in a far third is Atari's own uh, Speedo at 22 seconds. Now that we looked at the GEM desktop and saw how the screen driver is working, we're going to take a look at the meta file, the image file driver. For that, we're going to use a drawing that I did back in the late 80s uh, in EasyDraw. And we're going to load it up using these three different types of uh, GDOS managers. So if we load the same file, we punch the load button at the same time, it appears that Speedo is first, followed by NVDI, and then finally followed by G+. Now some of this can be attributed to font loading or VDI calls or whatever, but uh, you can make your own judgment about which one you think is faster. Then for a short little test, we're going to refresh it to the full screen view and see which one finishes first. And as you can see, the 1999 version of GDOS NVDI uh, wins again. So in this video, just examining the speed of the three major uh, GDOS font managers, uh, it looks like NVDI is the one to choose. Next, I'm going to go back and probably just NVDI and G+. Take a look at their features and why you should choose one over the other. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want more, you can just click on subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. The links are in the description of the video.